Hey there, fellow underdog entrepreneurs. In today's video, I want to talk about a major upgrade I've made recently. I've actually replaced this old gray matter in my head with ClickUp Brain. Yeah, I know AI has been all the rage since the end of 2022, but the last update that ClickUp has made to AI called ClickUp Brain, it is literally blowing my mind right now how much I'm able to get done. Today, I want to walk you through some of the new features of ClickUp Brain. I also want to show you what I shared with a group of business owners at a seminar last week that left their jaws on the floor. Let's get clicky with it. Let's bust over and walk through some of the new features of ClickUp Brain. I have a link in the description below if you want to try out ClickUp Brain for yourself. But let's just talk about some of the new features. ClickUp AI has been around for a little while. It's pretty good first iteration. This is the second iteration. It's got even better, much more useful in my day to day stuff. And let me know in the comments whether or not you've used ClickUp AI already. But let me just show you, walk you through some of the things. So they've broken down ClickUp uh, Brain into three distinct functions. There's AI Knowledge Manager, AI Project Manager, and AI Writer for Work. So basically what this means is knowledge base, SOPs, uh, standard operating procedures, operations manual, all of that can be created on the fly using ClickUp Brain. And it's amazing what it's able to do. Let me just show you a couple things that it's able to do. I'm gonna pop into my ClickUp right now and let's get clicky with it. I'll show you how I'm using the ClickUp Brain features. One of the big things that I especially for if we have new people coming on board, it's how do we actually do the stuff that we do? One of the things that we do is we provide done for you onboarding to a membership that uh, we do for a tech membership group. So one of the things I can click, click up AI from anywhere. And let's just say how to do, how to do new client onboarding. What it's gonna do is it's gonna search through my current task list, all the things that I have in my current ClickUp, and it's going to go find things that are related to new client onboarding. So let's use in this, per, this for instance, I want to learn how to do uh, membership onboarding for TechTribe, which is a membership that we belong to. It's actually giving me, spitting out, using my own data. So this isn't going out to ChatGPT, finding other things. This is actually telling me exactly where these things are and how to do things inside of my company. And it's giving me my task list to do right here. So this is all based upon data that I have right inside my own ClickUp. So this new client onboarding checklist, it takes me straight to the new client onboarding checklist and gives me everything that I'm supposed to do. So that is super helpful if you're if you're getting your team up to speed, they want to learn how to do things. So knowledge base features inside of ClickUp Brain has gotten tremendous, super helpful to me. So let me show you what I actually showed a group of business owners last week. Last week, I had the chance to speak in front of the Midwest Assign Association. So basically, these are folks who make signage for malls, uh, you know, restaurants, things like that. So think about anybody who would create a sign. This is a group of folks right here in the Midwest, here in the United States. We were talking about how to build systems, how to create standard operating procedures. So let me just copy and paste a couple things that they shared with me, and I'll show you what ClickUp is actually able to spit out. And keep in mind, I am not a sign company. So there is no data inside of my ClickUp on how to do signs. So let me just show you what I showed them. So they had me type in, we did this live in a demonstration last week. So let me just paste this in here, what they asked me. So they wanted to know how to create an SOP. So I'm gonna type that, create an SOP for installing channel lettering on brick. I had no idea what that meant, basically. So I had did this, like I said, in real time in front of about 60 business owners. And this is what it spit out. We'll give it a few seconds for this to spit out the actual SOP. So once it got done processing, so we'll let it go through its entire thing. So this is a step-by-step -step process 
on how a sign installer installs on a brick surface. So I had them go through and we scanned this and I had them give me a verification of accuracy. How accurate is this SOP for if you were going to create this for your company? They, every single one of them told me this is absolutely game changer for them. This would save them hours of time in creating one single SOP. So this is what it spit out. So that's the exact SOP. So this is the one we did live last week. So all I did live for them was hit create doc and it automatically put that into a doc format for their SOP documentation. And they told me this was very, very accurate. So keep that in mind. What are you going to be able to do with your own data? Uh, so let me go show you a, a second instance just to show this wasn't a fluke. We did a second demonstration of ClickUp Brain inside of my own ClickUp. Again, keep in mind, I'm not a sign maker. So they had me type in create a pre-flight inspection checklist, a pre-flight inspection checklist for signage installation truck. So we hit enter and let ClickUp Brain do its thing. It's going to take a few seconds. I'm going to leave this in real time so you can see how fast it can generate this data. So we'll give it a few seconds and let ClickUp Brain do its thing. So it is going through creating a purpose, a frequency, a procedure, all of the procedurals, interior check, safety equipment check, signage equipment check, documentation, sign off. So it actually created all of that. And I had them go back through. We scanned this in real time and I had them give me a grade on how accurate this is. Every single one of them told me that I was getting them to create a version 1.0 of their SOPs. They told me this was probably a version two or a version three that it would take them to generate one single SOP inside their company. So I asked them, how many hours would that save you or your staff in creating standardized documentation? By far, this was hours and hours and hours. So think about how much time your team's, uh, how many dollars your team's time is worth. And just imagine how much you're going to be able to save with ClickUp Brain. So I'm going to close that out and we're going to go through to the next one. So that is knowledge manager. So all of these things inside of knowledge management. So knowledge base, standard operating procedures, company wikis. I hate that word anyway. So this will give you all of that included with ClickUp Brain. The next one is AI project manager. So this is the next one. So automated tasks, updates, progress, and standups. We actually did this again in real time. I'm going to flip over to back over to my ClickUp. I have a client that actually has his every single one of his employees create a weekly check in. So basically he has them do a report on Friday afternoons of all the things they did that week, all the things they plan on doing next week and a list of the things that they might be stuck on. Every single he has 10 employees, every single one of them. I've asked them, they spend about 45 minutes to an hour creating this report on Friday. The function built right inside of ClickUp will do this automatically for you. So you click right stand up. It's going to give me a stand up for all the things that I have done in the last week. So it spit that out right here on the new home tab. So let's go into ClickUp AI and let's do that right stand up. You could do it from in here as well. So I want to see what has occurred in the last week. I want a bulleted list and here I can go in and choose which of my team members. So you can sit there and choose all of your team members or just one. So let's go ahead and generate a bulleted list of what I accomplished this week. Again, this is some demo data in here, but these are the things that I was able to achieve this week, the past seven days right inside of ClickUp. So by automating this procedure, he by far, I think at 10 employees, one hour a week, he's able to save them. He told me on average, his employees are getting paid about 25 to $30 an hour. So just quickly do the math on that. How much time savings that is, how much time savings could that be for your company using ClickUp brain? So that is the projects. So you can create subtasks automatically. Let's go in and try that real quick here. 
So I'm going to go in and let's just create an action. Let's add a task. Let's just call it launch new website. And let's have this do today. So we'll create task. So if I come in here to launch new website and I come in here to sub tasks, I can come in here, click up AI, click up brain will do that for me. Suggest sub tasks for this. So let's let it do its thing. So there's design website, layout, develop code, test functionality, deploy website and server. And then I can go create five subtasks. So boom, automatically. So think about the things you do inside of your company that are repetitive, that you just need to generate a checklist from. Boom, click up project manager will do that for you. Then the last but not least by any stretch of the imagination is click, click up AI writer for work. So think about the scripts you uh, create each week. I'm going to do a future video showing you how I prep my YouTube videos. So stay tuned for that. And I'll show you the different things that I'm using with ClickUp AI, ClickUp Brain to help me produce and manage all of my YouTube videos. The new one, I'm going to do a future video on this one is a new feature, turning text into AI and having clips. So it'll do transcription for you right inside ClickUp Brain. Think about that. I can, I'm going to be testing that out with my podcast episodes to see how well it does with transcription. So stay tuned for a future video on that. So the, uh, these are just, I'm just scratching the surface with this video. I know we're probably going long. I used to be an IT service provider. So those of you who are concerned about privacy, who are concerned about having your company data out there for the world to see, that is one of the differentiators in my humble opinion of ClickUp Brain is they do not use your data for model training. Think about that. So they're GDPR compliant, SOC 2 compliant, and in the process of making everything HIPAA compliant. So that is a huge thing that's on people's minds right now is the security of the information. You want your employees to be effective. You want them to be productive, but at the same time, you got to manage those company secrets. So that is my quick, quick and dirty uh, tutorial template on ClickUp Brain. So thanks for checking out this video. Let me know what is your favorite ClickUp Brain feature. Drop me a note in the comments. And be sure to like and subscribe so you get to be the first one to check out my next video, which is going to be how I use ClickUp Brain to help me use uh, to do content creation. Uh, that's going to be a banger, I think. So until next time, let's get clicky with it.